but what are the things guys can do to improve like their profiles to just do better with dating online? Because that seems to be, especially with the younger generation, a lot of what they're doing. Well, exactly what you were talking about before, like speaking authentically and uniquely to who that person is, is the best way to write a profile. So I look at profiles all the time. Again, it's not my area of expertise, but I do get to see a lot of profiles. And so many profiles I find are written by men for the women that they're trying to attract uh -huh. rather than them themselves actually writing a profile about what they want and who they are. Okay. So for guys forget that they, so they make it like very vanilla and boring so that they can appeal to like the masses when actually what works better online is when you bring out your unique uniqueness you talk about what pertains to you what makes you different the things that you like and you want mm -hmm. and same thing in the pictures that they put that they that guys put up into place a lot of pictures are taken potentially for the women that they're trying to attract the the pictures they've seen that have the best response like for a profile picture are a guy who's in his element looking slightly off camera that's the <laughs> best kind of profile picture to post four to five other pictures of them in their element painting a picture about who they are, not three selfies in the same pose, not three posed pictures that were taken by a professional photographer. Would you, you can have one of those on there yeah. totally. Um, and like, it's really just, you're showing who you are and what right. a woman can be a part of. So that's what you got to put out online. And then for now, like right now, I think a lot of people are putting um, their Myers-Briggs types. That's a huge trend. Mm -hmm. That's happening. What? It was like the number the what? one. They're Myers like the Briggs type, so I'm not sure what personality that is. type. Oh, really? Like, um, so yeah, you know about somebody that? wrote a book. Yeah, some more over the yeah, well, it was like it was considered the number one term uh, on OkCupid. They did a study saying that it was a number one term used in people's profiles. Dre, like, do you know about this? What it is? What it, What is it? Explain they, what it is. They put like uh, a personality category. They categorize themselves with personality indicators to let people know yeah. where they fall on a list. So kind of like yeah. when when people talk about I'm an A type personality, but it's a different. Yeah, it, exactly. it's an, yeah. I think it's foolish. Yeah. I don't think it really. I, I don't. I I kind of agree with you to be honest, mm. but um, there's like a whole science behind it. But I don't know if that's actually going to deter you from actually partnering up with good people because people may interpret it incorrectly. So I kind of agree with you on that. People are now putting whether they're vaccinated. Or not, like those are huge things That's as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow, so but, that makes sense though. But yeah, I mean, those are the trends that I'm seeing in profiles. But mainly, what happens when women go online, no matter what age they are, they look at their picture first. They do not care about the profile. If they're not attracted, they swipe left. If they're kind of attracted, they swipe right. Or if they're really attracted, they swipe right. And if they're really attracted, then they will go and look deeper into their profile and see more about that person. And then it doesn't even matter if a woman's attracted to you and you guys do match. You have the next stage, which is actually starting the conversation, which is challenging for a lot of guys. And if you're saying boring, dull things and you're not super hot and attractive, then you're not going to get past that next stage either. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And that it's it's interesting how the sliding scale happens based on how 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 well you got a six pack. And how good looking you yeah, are. Yeah. 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 yeah you get a free pass. Oh, you're really <laughs> hot. But you said hi to me. OK, I'll talk to you a little, for a little bit longer. Right. But somebody right. Who's like not as high. You're like, no. Hi. Right. Who says that? Right. I mean, right. but that's also way it works about in real Europe? Life. Europe? Exactly. Europe. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Andre ours. will get away with Europe. I'll put your with mad like seven <laughs> R's in that shit. But you know why? You know, but that's why, different. But it's also it's also very honest about who he is. Like you if you put seven R's like four R's is reasonable. Seven <laughs> R's. <laughs> right. It's seven R's is absurd. Too much. It says. And, and, and what it says is I don't give a fuck how many R's. I'll use all the R's. <laughs> I don't care what yeah. you think about my R's. And then she goes, wow, he's confident because he uses seven I R's. All of this is I going agree. On. That's crazy. Huh? I'm just having me a good old time. And, and that's the point. But the point is because you're so comfortable in your skin. I used to tell dudes when they would, you know, like they would like, uh, what you call it? I, 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 I remember I was, was talking to Andrew Schultz and he was like, uh, how do you pick up girls? I go just in the I go. He, he's already kind of, you know, he always had had some fame. I go just go and slide in the DM and put a question mark. Just, just just like bong. And she goes, so she goes, looks at your picture, finds you attractive, and she goes, like, what? What is that? What? I mean, hey, I don't and you're like, oh, I got you already. You're already yeah. you're already showing 
that level of, of interest, you know? I like that. You know? Man School 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.